As a YouTube tech reviewer, I have a lot of extra parts lying around. And you know what? I, I figure that a couple of my friends probably do too. Let's build a system today, but not for me, for somebody else. We're gonna put this all together and we're gonna give it to somebody who really could use it. Need a Windows or Office key but don't want to pay retail? MMORC.com has all the best deals and a sweet discount for BPS Customs viewers. Just head over to the site link below and enter code BAN35 for 35% off your order total, meaning you could snag Windows 10 Home for under 10 bucks. Fill out your email and place your order and then click the extract code button at the top of the page. From there, it's as easy as heading to your Windows activation settings and inputting your shiny new key. For more information, head to MMORC.com or check out the links below. I enlisted Brian from Bad T Tech and Adam from EpostVox to help me put together not only just a PC, but a complete gaming and streaming setup to help out an aspiring Twitch streamer. Now I did something very similar to this last year with Serena Sunshine, and maybe some of you guys remember that video, but she was kind of struggling along with a kind of a low end gaming PC and she really wanted to try to build her audience and I helped her out by giving her a PC and some exposure here on the channel. Well, I kind of had the same idea this year. I have so much stuff in the office and it's just sitting here doing nothing. Why don't we give it to somebody who could use it, who's gonna be gaming on a regular basis, who doesn't have the greatest setup right now, and maybe this will help them take off in the gaming and Twitch world. So when I talked to Brian and Adam about this idea, they were all about it. I'm gonna handle the system build, Brian's gonna handle the peripherals, Adam's gonna handle the streaming setup, and this guy that we're giving the system to is gonna be good to go. So let's go over these parts, and then you're gonna meet Mike. Starting off on the left side of our table, let's take a look at our case. This is the Inwin 905. It's an aluminum enclosure. It almost kind of looks like it's just one piece of metal that's just wrapped around the exterior. Makes for a really cool and pretty unique design aesthetic. This is an RGB LED up front. The IO is on the side, which I find actually really useful. And it's got some really cool design features like a hole. But uh, this should hold our hardware really well and also look pretty cool on a desk. Might as well just keep going across the table this way. We've got a set of custom sleeved extensions from nsource.net. Joey always does awesome work. This green and white and silver kit I've used in uh, build before on the channel, but it is time to find them a new home. These look awesome and they'll be attached to the Corsair RM650i power supply. This is kind of a, an oldie but goodie. I've used this on the channel a bunch over the past couple of years. Uh, never long term. It's super reliable, 80 plus gold rated, fully modular, and uh, it should be perfect for this build. Our GPU that we're going to use is from Asus. This is the Strix version of their RTX 2070. It's going to be exactly what Mike needs uh, for his gaming and also for video editing and encoding. So uh, I think this is going to be a huge step up from what he's got right now. Moving right along from the GPU to our system fans. Now, the 905 does come with some serious loop fans, but we're gonna upgrade those to Inwin's Polaris because these just look awesome. They're daisy chainable, they got the silver accents on the side, and they're all aluminum, just like our case. So these are gonna go really well uh, inside the 905. And then moving back to the motherboard. Another product from Asus, this is their Prime X570 Pro. Again, I have used this in a build before on the channel, but uh, totally solid X570 board, kind of a mid-range uh, board for that lineup. Uh, it has the white accents with some silver, which is gonna go good in our case. And this should do really well with our processor, which is gonna be, thanks to AMD, the Ryzen 7 3700X. Now, initially I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna put in this because I have a 3700X, but I kinda need it. So this is the only part that actually does not come from my inventory. I hit up AMD and I was like, hey, you guys are really, really killing it right now. Um, gonna be doing a giveaway system for somebody who's gonna be doing gaming and streaming. What do you got? And they're like, we got you. We're gonna get you over a 3700X. So this is like the perfect processor for this kind of build. Thank you very much to AMD. And Mike, you're gonna love this. Cooling our 3700X is gonna be Deep Cool's Castle 240EX. Uh, again, it's got the silver accents on the pump. It's got anti-leak technology. It's a 240 AIO. It's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna put these fans on there and everything's gonna look really good, matchy-matchy with 
the Trident Z RGB memory. This is a four by eight gig kit, G-Skill Trident Z RGB. So this is a 3200 speed kit. Should be great for what Mike needs it for and should provide him with plenty of flexibility for the future. And here's our storage. One M.2 drive. This is just a one terabyte Mushkin Helix. Uh, not gonna go crazy with storage here because I'm not entirely sure what he's gonna need, but this should be plenty to get him started. And we're gonna throw windows on here as well. All right, so we are here with our participants in our little giveaway that we're doing. We got Brian from Bad Seed up top. We got Adam from Epos Vox down below. And we got somebody new for you. This is Mike. <laughs> Mike, what's going on? Say hello to the people out there. Tell them who you are, what you do. Uh, well, I guess we could start out with I am a content creator. It's such a loose term, but a streamer. Uh, I podcast, make videos. Um, I started in 2019 around February, March. And it kind of was just like I was hanging out with my friend. We were watching some videos. If you guys know who Dashy is, he's a YouTuber. He makes like Mario videos, all kinds of video game content. And he was just like super like energetic. And it was something like new to me. I was like, I've never seen someone just play video games and entertain. And like he had a big following. So we would just like hang out and then we would laugh. And then one day it like sparked. I was like, I really want to do that. I want to try streaming. And like I looked to my friend and he looked back and he was like, well, just go do it. Like go get the webcam, you know, go get a laptop, go get this, like go to Best Buy tomorrow. And like, let's go. Like, let's do this. Let's not talk. So I went to Best Buy, I did it, I got all this stuff, and I remember recording my first YouTube video on an iPhone, um, I think it was a 7, yep. and I had a stack of like 21 books, I had it horizontal, I had iMovie up, I had my TV, and I played Mario Kart, and there was no webcam, there was just commentary, I barely talked at all, like it's hilarious how bad it was, it was two years ago, and um, I've just been constantly trying to learn and meet new people, kind of get familiar with the industry, kind of find my personality, you know, create merch, all this stuff, like leading up and trying to improve and learn. And, and like, um, I don't know, I, it's just, I've really realized like how much this is my passion, like making people's, making people's day, making them laugh, like creating videos. I, I've done it before I started streaming. I used to make Snapchat videos and I try to make people laugh every day. And um, people would comment, they'd be like, man, like I look forward to your videos every day. Like they're so silly and you're just like having fun. And I'm like, you know, I just, it's just something I did. And then, like, now it's, like, turned into this whole thing. So, like, it's kind of just, like, everything kind of fell into place. And I love it. I, I, like, I look forward to, like, the smallest things. That's how I know I love it. Like, like um, updating overlays or graphics or, like, working on this new video. Like, tweaking stuff, improving. Like, seeing your content develop. Looking back at old videos. Seeing your personality develop. Like, it. it's, like... I don't know. I truly love it. So it was definitely something that I'm I'm passionate about and I'm just happy that I'm here and all the people I've met are phenomenal. And here we are two two years later. So, yeah, man, I we uh, it's one of the reasons that we, we picked you is because you do seem really passionate about about creating content, whether it's on Twitch or YouTube or whatnot. And um, we when we were starting this project, we wanted to try to find somebody who could, we could try to help out. And mm -hmm. I think between the three of us, we must have watched some absurd amount of terrible, terrible streams to try to find somebody that we could help. And also, <laughs> you know, would would take that help and grow with it. I mean, I can't. Mm -hmm. Right, Brian and, and Adam, you guys, I'm sure I'm, watched a whole bunch. I wa Yeah, I watched a lot. Yeah, And I mean, no, not no offense to anybody out there doing that thing, but. <laughs> Wow. I made the mistake of putting it out live on Twitter. My Twitter's a little hefty and I got a lot of responses back, stuff to go check out. Uh, I saw a lot. I saw a lot. Mm -hmm. But the one thing that really stuck out to me a lot is that a lot of people kind of put the cart before the horse. Like they go out and they buy absolutely everything that they need to start streaming before they even like try to figure out if it's really something that you even want to do. And, and like to people that are aspiring, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily resonate that like you might do this for a while and then decide like, you know what, like maybe this isn't for me. Um, and a lot of people just go out and just go gear heavy right out of the gate. So um, yeah, it was honestly kind of needle in a haystack to find somebody who seemed mm -hmm. really passionate about it, had a good community, was really engaged, seemed to have a really good vibe and was in need of some things in certain areas to maybe get a leg up. Yeah. I will say if 
you look at like the backstories of most successful content creators, they're not the people who ran out and you know bought everything. You know they had everything set up. They didn't need anything from anyone and were ready to go from day one. It was the people who did the grind of putting their camera on books and you know rigging everything possible just to make yep. a video. I did. And that's it. how you know you actually did it. Like my my right. first my first videos were on an iPhone. Like I, I used a twenty dollar lapel mic that I bought from Best Buy. You know, like you got to. This video is really sponsored by Best Buy. We it is. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna hit them up after this, actually. <laughs> yeah. Even throughout the quarantine, Best Buy is still doing curbside <laughs> service right now. You know, I knew you had an ulterior motor here, Brian. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're. I mean, you're right. Like, uh, you, you're starting from passion and building from there, as opposed to starting from a bunch of gear and trying to build something that fits that gear. So Mike, I know you're into, you're into a lot of FPS games. Uh, so you play apex a lot. Um, and when I talked to you and, you know, reached out to you about your, your, uh, your setup, you said you were having some frame drops, some stuttering, you're working with an older I five system. Um, so one of the things that, uh, that we wanted to do was to get you a new rig. So that's, that's where I come in. That's what I do on my channel as I build rigs. So I'm going to shoot you over a link that I want you to check out. Um, I did put together a little sizzle reel of um, sizzle. Uh, sizzle. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's, yeah. Sizzle, it's sizzles, man. <laughs> uh, and uh, just check that out. And uh, I'm going to play it in the video and we'll come right back. All right, Mike, what'd you think? It's crazy. I I mean, I'm curious to like what's in there. I saw a lot of yeah. different things, a lot of green. I'm curious. A lot of green. Uh, I, I decided to make it green. I hope you like green. Uh, but AMD, <laughs> AMD actually hooked you up with a, a 3700X, which is an 8-core 16-thread chip. Uh, hey. I, th I threw an RTX 2070 in there. Yeah. Um, there's 32 gigs of RAM, a terabyte of storage. Um, you should be good to go, man. That system should yeah. should be good for you for a long time. Um, and obviously, there's there's more. So uh, in addition to the system that we're hooking you up with, that's going to allow you to have to not drop any frames and to you know have a smoother gameplay and all that. We also wanted to improve your peripheral setup. And uh, as luck would have it, we have somebody here who is pretty good at that. You know, you know a guy. Is that what I, you're saying? You, I know. You wait, might know a guy. Yeah. Do you know a guy? Because I'm. Just, I, I might know a guy. Yeah. Why don't you? Guy. Why don't you talk? Why don't you talk about that guy? All right. So we we talked earlier, and one of the biggest challenges. I'm going to start off with mouse because one of the biggest challenges. Um, you're a G502 guy, and th that mouse gets a lot of flack because it's a little on the heavier side. But the issue with the G502 is like once you're really accustomed to that button layout, it's hard to get away from it, especially those two little buttons that run alongside mouse one. So. Uh, it was tough to decide where to go with that. It wouldn't do me any good to give you like a lightweight, like, you know, honeycomb shell mouse because it's just not, it's not going to have the button access that you need and it's not going to feel the way you need it to feel. So we went with the G502 Lightspeed. It's the same mouse nice. you have right now. It's just wireless. And as luck would have it, it's damn near impossible to get one of these right now. So this is for that. So you can stick with the G502. It's everything you know and love. You'll be able to play just like you could before. You just don't have a cable to contend with. So wireless. Uh, 
wireless. In that same vein, I also wanted you to have a little bit more real estate in terms of mouse surface. And in doing so, found the largest commercially available <laughs> mouse pad I could find. Jesus. This is the glorious triple XL. Oh this thing God. is, uh, this is a full 48 <laughs> inches by 24 inches. Oh so God. it's- uh, It's, it's gonna cover your entire desk. Yeah, it's like your entire yeah. desktop. Yeah, basically it's like your entire desktop is now matte, matte surface. So it's, um, yeah, it's gonna be great. And in that same token, like, more mouse space means less keyboard. Now, I know what you're running right now in terms of keyboard. So I didn't want to take you all the way down to something like a 60% because it's a little, it feels a little foreign to somebody who's used to a full-size layout. So we went with the TKL layout. This Ooh. is a mass drop, drop formerly known as mass drop control. And this board's special for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it has one of the greatest keycap sets the world over, which you can only get by getting the board. Um, but... The beauty part here is that it's hot swappable, which means that for the first time, you can play around with different types of switches to figure out what you think you might like. This has Halo Trues in it right now, so they're a tactile switch, a little heavier. You might find that you like a linear or a clicky switch, but this gives you the ability to like, this is like a gateway drug between a commercial board from Best Buy and a full-blown Best custom. Buy. You, could, you, did, it on, you did it on purpose. You did it on purpose. You could, <laughs> You can customize this board in a lot of ways. The one thing I did do for you on this is I did, um, I broke down all the stabilizers and clipped and lubed those all custom because that's kind of a weak spot for the board. So these have all been clipped and lubed with dielectric grease and uh, 205 grade zero. So all your stabilizers are like, like chef's kiss perfect. They're just, the board is phenomenal. And, you know, you can't have like a super rad keyboard without a custom coil keyboard cable with the aviator to match the board. So, so sick. we got you one of those two uh, from Met Cables. So that should take care of your mouse surface, your keyboard, your cable, and your mouse itself. You should be set. Now there's no excuses. Now if you're trash on stream, True. it's not the, it's, it's your fault. I can't yeah, do it. I can't help me. you any more than this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, you need a way to get your stream out to the people. And mm -hmm. uh, I think we could help you there too. So. Let's go with that. So he's got your peripherals. Let's talk audio and video. We know you're rocking one of the older Elgatos, but we're going to step that up. We're going to get you the Elgato 4K60 Pro Mark II. You're going to be rocking that. You're going to be going 4K if you want to game that way. High refresh rate if you want. No pass-through issues. No cloning whatever. And you have an extra capture card to start going with some other cameras. Because everyone loves a multicam stream. Uh, so that'll be heading your way. Super easy to set up. Going to immediately take you to the next level. For audio, you're working with an interface that's all right, but eventually it might give you some trouble and it's it's fairly limiting. I'm gonna provide you an upgrade path that is kind of end game for what you're working with. We're throwing in the Go XLR Mini. Hey. Sick. That's so sick. So, Thank you. This will take your microphone. Raw audio quality won't be any different, but you'll get to run a compressor, a EQ, a noise gate, cut out any you know background noise, your cat yelling, your neighbors yelling, whatever. Your cut cat all that yells. out. Sometimes. Ah, yeah, I guess ah. yeah. it's a really, really <laughs> weird sounding cat, man. <laughs> We're going to get you set up with that. And that'll let you run a lot more audio separation. If you want to make highlights for Twitter or YouTube, whatever, you'll get to separate out your voice chat, your music, all of that. Get that routed in there. And then should you ever choose to upgrade microphones, you have the hardware that will continue to back it up moving forward. Isn't quite as bougie as the custom stuff that Brian has set up for you, but yeah, I only have what I have. All right, I, I, just, I only have what I have. <laughs> and then we'll set you up with a nice, completely revamped set of OBS settings to take full advantage of your new hardware, upgrade your stream quality for your viewers, and get rid of those headaches of dropped frames and all of that because that's no fun and really frustrating right. in Apex specifically as someone who pretty much only streams Apex at the moment. Yeah, you. So, uh, Adam, we chatted briefly about this. We're not gonna get, we're not gonna dive too deep into the OBS settings on this video, but uh, you guys will talk offline and mm -hmm. you'll hook him, hook him up with uh, with what you think he needs. Uh, for stream professor twist. Stream professor. There you go. Um, so, so Mike, what do you think, man? Are you gonna be able to you gonna be rock and roll with all this stuff or what? Honestly, it feels like Christmas. I feel like really <laughs> spoiled right now. I feel like I have like. Like if you imagine, I would never do this, but if someone had like three girlfriends and then it was your birthday and they all gave you badass gifts, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it feels special. I appreciate it. All right, I think uh, I don't, Brian. I think you're frozen, man. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> it's, he's, he's just thrown off by that he's, he's super interested by your three girlfriends. Is what's going on? I was wondering why he wasn't moving. Yeah, he's back. He's no, back. I missed everything. I missed the entire thing. I thought you he was happened. pissed. You, <laughs> do you miss the three girlfriends comment and all that? Because you're one of the that. three. You're oh, one of the man, three girlfriends. Yeah, um, thing. But Mike, you want to plug plug your socials and tell people where to find you and uh, what your schedule is like. Uh, so with quarantine schedules like all over the place because there's a lot more free time. Um, but generally around anywhere from six p.m. to nine p.m. I'm pretty much a wild card. But uh, I stream Apex, a lot of solo player games, just chatting. Um, try to keep a variety, you know. I, Apex keep Apex always keeps me coming back. I don't know why. Even when it makes my stream crash right now, I'm I don't know why I do that to myself. Um, but with like all the new gear, it'll be Apex mostly. Maybe some Call of Duty. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Electricity Wave. Um, I also have a podcast with uh my best friend uh, on YouTube. It's Chilling for Our Lives. That's on my YouTube. Um, Twitter's where I'm most active. Uh, I got a TikTok. Um, is it yeah. dance moves? Is it all dance moves? <laughs> It's not. It's Aww. it's uh. It's is it it's, some dance moves? <laughs> maybe mostly mostly try to be comedy. <laughs> maybe. But uh, all, I watch, all I watch is dance moves. Dance moves. Maybe I'll throw yeah. some in for you. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah. So I just try to have fun, and we have a really fun like Discord community. Watch movies every Wednesday night. Like uh, last Wednesday, um, we were all like trying to watch sad movies and cry together. But uh. Yeah, it was fun. Seems so. like seems like every day, <laughs> every day during the quarantine, right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So yeah. Well, you know what? I want I do want to say a big thank you to Adam and to Brian. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to AMD for being involved. Um, thank you to Elgato was involved. Um, Brian, did you work with any companies? Mac cables with it? They, they no. This that's just the cable my, you had. There you go. All right. Are you kidding me? No. Thanks. All right. Bye. Shout out, Best Buy. Damn Shout out to Best Buy. <laughs> Shout out to um, Best Buy. Well, you know, I mean, I, I'm glad that every once in a while we get to do something that's really good for somebody because, you know, like I said, we have all this gear that's just kind of doing nothing. But, uh, Mike, I am really glad to have met you, and I hope that um, that you use this stuff and 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 get your uh, your stream rocking and rolling real soon. And um, I don't know, everybody, go check him out uh, on Twitch, Electricity Wave. So, thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody involved. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. See you nice. guys. Later, guys. Yeah. Try OnlyFans instead, just beard pics. Oh, uh, dude, I've tried it, man. I had the camera set up in the shower for a few days. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't feel like, I don't I just can't catch the vibe, bro. I feel like um, self conscious, you know, and I just, just doesn't, it doesn't play well on camera. Well, you got a. <laughs> You probably got the same thing going on downstairs too, and it looks all f-ing weird. You know? yeah, well, yeah, I like the. I'm I'm big on symmetry, you know. Yeah, so the, I figured. Yeah, I figured. Mm, geometry you gotta, to, uh, you got to wear super baggy shorts, right? Because otherwise, it's just you know. Yeah, it's like an Easter Island head down there. It's great. Yeah. <laughs>